myths are real. There was a war, and they're the last one standing. Rawr! Team Godzilla! Welcome to my review. Guys, there is still adrenaline pumping through my veins after watching Godzilla vs. Kong. I cannot wait to talk about it. But before we dive in, hook your boy up with that HBO special. Y'all know what that is? That's the Help a Brother Out special. Hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, and hit like on this video for videos on the latest in movies, TV shows, with a sprinkle of anime and gaming, guys. My name's Leo, this is Geekly Goods, and let's dive into this review for Godzilla vs. Kong, y'all. Starting with what works. So what works in this movie, first and foremost, is the CGI, guys. Godzilla and Kong look at their absolute tip-top best in this movie. Look, this is the best-looking movie, in my opinion, out of the entire series. I did like how King of the Monsters looked. I did like how Kong Skull Island looked. But I love how Godzilla vs. Kong looked. It makes both of the competitors look absolutely menacing. And it's not that the other movies didn't, but this movie just brings them up to the whole next level. Seriously. This is Predator versus Predator, Alpha versus Alpha, King versus King. It is the dominant species versus the dominant species. Whoever wins is going to come out on top. And guys, they really put a lot of effort into it. Godzilla's atomic breath looks absolutely breathtaking. Kong's axe looks awesome as hell. Seriously, every single CGI shot with the two monsters looks amazing. Even just the scenes where Kong is idle on the boat still look absolutely flawless like you believe that these monsters are actually real so man i gotta start this off with the cgi it is absolutely incredible top to bottom the blues the purples the browns all the mix of all of it guys it is just incredible it's a spectacle to look at it's great especially on an imax big screen it is absolutely incredibly colored i love it i absolutely love the looks of this movie another thing that works is the score every time godzilla enters his score his classic godzilla theme comes on guys and i get chills it is absolutely amazing look at what shirt i'm wearing here we team godzilla in this household y'all so i absolutely loved when godzilla would enter and it would be his theme Theme. The score is amazing. The score is fantastic and it matches this movie to a T. It does such a fantastic job. Another thing that works is the actual battles themselves, guys. Like, we get some really good licks in on Godzilla, on Kong. Like, look, this is a great matchup between, like I was saying earlier, two kings, guys. It is incredible. I loved the blow to blow exchanges between these two. I liked that. It did feel like they were playing on even ground. So, it did feel like an even match battle. And I loved the the exchange of blows between the two of them didn't look hokey didn't look fake it looked awesome guys and look kong's got these big fists and godzilla's got these claws and his teeth and so it really does make for an equal matchup between both of these competitors guys and i will not i repeat i will not tell you who wins but i will say that any team is going to walk out of this movie happy seriously take my word on that there is a winner but i'm not going to tell you who. and i believe both teams will come out walking out happy after this movie but man the blow to blow exchanges the battles so 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 good guys like seriously so the cgi the score the battles so amazing and kong himself kong and godzilla the monsters the way they look the monsters and their personalities absolutely amazing oh and the last thing i want to talk about that works guys it's just the energy oh my gosh like seriously i have adrenaline after watching that this is a showdown y'all like this is a match it is the match of the century guys that's all i'm gonna say about that but let's move on to what doesn't quite work so what doesn't work unfortunately and i believe the other movies in the series fall privy to this unfortunately there's still too heavy of a human involvement i believe that these monster movies should totally be about the monsters and it, to me this story does improve on the other ones in that the story really does cater to the monsters and to the battle between the two of them but i would have loved to actually get more scenes of them battling i think that there's still a lot of human meddling in this and i understand that there has to be a story that there has to be some human involvement just so of course we could have a, a good storyline but unfortunately it just feels over involved and i just want them to back up 
and actually allow Kong and Godzilla to really go down. And another thing I had a problem with is there's some slight pacing issues in the movie. There's about, I would say the second third in the movie probably is like drags just a little bit. And I don't want to say exactly what happens because I don't want to spoil, but I just think it kind of meanders a little. And I really, really wish that it would have been filled with more monster battles. Like I want more monsters, but there was still a much, in my opinion, much heavier involvement of the monsters story rise and screen time than Godzilla King of the Monsters and the first Godzilla movie. Oh my gosh, the first Godzilla movie barely had any involvement in Godzilla at all. I mean, from what I remember, there's not a lot of Godzilla, so I would I love the amount of Godzilla in this film. I just really wish that the story would have allowed the monsters to have more time and look in Godzilla King of the Monsters, the camera pulled away so much from the monster battles. So much. But it does a better job here. I think that it does do a little bit more of a mix, but it's still, I'm going back to what I was saying, just too much human interaction. The Godzilla 1998 did this. King Kong, Peter Jackson did this. Like all of these that are made in the US, that is the mistake, unfortunately, is that there is too much involvement with the humans. And I'm really still trying to find that just perfect blend from a US made kaiju movie. I just really think that sometimes they, they involve the humans too much. Just let the kaiju battle y'all. We came for the battle. So that's the only couple of things that I can think of off the top of my head that I think didn't work. But guys, for Godzilla vs. Kong, I'm going to give it the score of 7 out of 10. Y'all, I loved those CGI battles. I loved this monster movie. But take it with a grain of salt. If you don't really like kaiju movies and you're looking for a concrete, really written out story, not the movie for you guys. This is a monster mash, okay? So if you're here for a meaningful film, sorry to tell you unfortunately this is a monster battle y'all but y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comments have you seen godzilla vs kong yet if you have let me know what you think and let me know if you're going to go see it if you're new here hit that subscribe button we'll see you next time on geekly goods